All right, and we're back with another episode of NBA Shorts. I have Jared Prosser here with me. This is Trey Dalbert. We're going to be previewing the Washington Wizards and Philadelphia 76ers series. Washington, they lost to Boston in the play-in game, and then they just kicked a snot out of Indiana to get in. Jared, is this one – I don't even know how to phrase this. Does Philadelphia have anything to worry about here? On the surface, no. Um, yeah. You look at Washington's strengths and it's guard play. And who does Philadelphia line up with? A six foot ten defensive player of the year candidate at point guard and a legendary six foot seven defensive stopper at two guard, who might be old, but he's still a really good defender. They have got the perfect weapons to stop those two guards, to stop Beal and Westbrook. And that's even assuming we get good Westbrook. You mentioned the playing games. We saw bad Westbrook against Boston. We saw good Westbrook against Indiana. He is an absolute Jekyll and Hyde player. But if we get Dr. Jekyll, he's still going to run into Ben Simmons. And this this is before we even before we even touch on the fact that Joel Embiid is sitting waiting inside should they get past those guards, that any passing lane is going to have Matisse Tybel and his 17 arms roaming around. This could be ugly. I, I commend Washington for getting as far as they have, considering the absolute, like, it was a shit show the first half of their season. Everything went wrong. COVID, injuries, whatever could go wrong could go wrong. So I commend them for getting as far as they have. But, my God, this like, it wouldn't surprise me if this one goes in four. I guess I won't bury the lead here, but I think this is going to be a Philadelphia sweep here. Yeah, it, It's one thing to get a, oh, Westbrook, Beal, but we're not even getting a healthy Beal. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. So uh, without a healthy Beal, I think this could get really, really ugly because you think, hey, if Beal can carry the Wizards to a game or two, maybe it gets interesting. But, like, if he's not healthy, what are we doing here? Well, that's it. Beal is the one guy who could do something because he doesn't have to get to the basket. He can he can beat you in so many different ways. But he's he's either going to get Danny Green or he's going to get Ben Simmons. The poor bloke is not going to see daylight. And when they go to the bench, Tybal is going to take it. He will not see daylight this whole series. And when you're running on one leg, this is going to be painful for Washington. I hate to say it because I'm – I'm, just, I'm really happy for them and, and the fact they've made the playoffs through all of the adversity that they've suffered. But, yeah, Philly's just got too much defence and, frankly, Washington, not enough defence. Alex Len, oh, the poor bloke. Embiid might not even know Len is there. He might just go, oh, what was that speed bump? He, as he rolls to his 35th dunk of the game. Um, Daniel Gafford is... Bouncy. We saw today he had five blocks. Um, he's bouncy, he's athletic, he tries, but he's just not big enough to stop him beat. You know, this is the sort of series where it doesn't matter if Philadelphia goes cold. It doesn't matter if Ben Simmons shoots four times or 14 times. They can just throw the ball to Embiid and he will eat. Yeah, Philadelphia has much better shooting than they did, I don't know, two, three years ago entering the playoffs. Mm. With a guy like Seth Curry, it's hard for me to believe that and we have a good version of Tobias Harris again. It's hard for me to believe like they're going to go cold like in years past where they can't hit a shot either. Yeah, Doc Doc Rivers is the Harris whisper, isn't he? He gets the <laughs> best out of Toby Harris. But you even throw in um, Tybal's a better shooter. Green's come on board. Um, Korkmaz has become a part of the rotation. Shake Milton is a dead Maxie eye Maxie is shot. interesting. Yeah, Maxie can can come in and light it up if he, if he gets the right scenario. They have... Even if they, like, none of those guys are out and out knockdown shooters outside of you know, Seth Curry and maybe Harris. Um, but even if they do go cold, I honestly don't think it's going to matter. If, if this is the series, this is the series for Philadelphia to get all of their misses out of the way. Um, they realistically should romp this in. I'm going to call it a sweep. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode of NBA Shorts. Philadelphia in a route. That's what we're predicting. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. We'll see you next time.